Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, Case 52. Here we have a great, great case. This is a sagittal MRI examination of the shoulder. And the question that I have for everyone is, what structure is torn here? Is this an inferior glenohumeral ligament tear, a biceps tendon tear, supraspinatus tendon tear, or a coracoacromial ligament tear? What structure is torn? And I want to come back to the bigger image and just show the anatomy here. So first of all, this is an arthrogram, right? So this is, you know, hyper intense contrast within the glenohumeral joint space. And of course, just for anatomy, this is the humeral head right here, right? This is, uh, you know, part of the acromioclavicular joint here. This is the, you know, the coracoid process of the scapula. You know, this is the acromion process of the scapula. This is the clavicle here. This, you can actually see the entire rotator cuff musculature. This muscle here is the supraspinatus. This is a supraspinatus tendon. Remember, all tendons are dark or black on MRI. This is the infraspinatus muscle, and this black area here is the infraspinatus tendon. This is a teres minor muscle and tendon here. And this dark structure here is a subscapularis tendon, and the muscle is right here anterior to it, right? And, you know, this here that we're seeing, these dark black bands are the inferior glenohumeral ligament. This is the anterior band of the glenohumeral ligament, the posterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament, and this is the axillary pouch here of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. And this ovoid structure right here is the biceps tendon, right? And notice that we have some fluid or hyperintense signal within the substance of the biceps tendon here as it inserts right here at the 12 o'clock positioner with the biceps labral anchor, right? Along the supraglenotubercle of the glenoid process of the scapula. So this, of course, is a biceps tendon tear, right? Because we have increased signal uh, within the substance of the biceps tendon here. So biceps tears are, are, you know, relatively, you know, common. In an arthrogram, really the key is to understand where contrast is going and where it's not supposed to be. So contrast, of course, should always stay within the glenohumeral joint capsule. If it goes anywhere else, it means some structure is torn. Obviously, if it goes into the subacromial cell deltoid bursa, that means that there must be a full thickness rotator cuff tear. In this case, we saw contrast or fluid within the biceps tendon, the substance of the tendon itself. Um, so biceps tendon, it normally attaches to the superglandular tubercle via the biceps labral anchor. And I just want to show that again, because I think, you know, it's very important. So this here, you can imagine the glandular, the labrum is kind of like a clock. It's a, you know, 360 degree structure that encompasses the entire glandoid. And at the 12 o'clock position is where the biceps attaches to the superglandular tubercle via the biceps labral anchor, right? So that's at this top position right here. So very important. Um, you always want to look for increased signal within the substance of the tendon. And that's obviously very important, right? If you have a tear, you know, that can, you know, that manifests as a tear. You always want to also make sure that the biceps tendon is not dislocated, right? So normally the biceps tendon sits in the bicipital groove, right? Between the greater and the lesser uh, tuberosity. So it can often be dislocated from that groove. So always look for that. And often biceps dislocations are associated with subscapularis tears. This is an ABR favorite on the core exam, right? So, you know, because of the intimate connection association with the transverse ligament, right? The transverse ligament helps situate the biceps tendon in the bicipital groove, but uh, the transverse ligament, some of its fibers come from the subscapularis tendon. So because you get compromise of that and there's a dislocation, oftentimes the subscapularis tendon tears as well, right? So a very nice case of a biceps tendon tear. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please, please subscribe to our channel, MedED page. Support our mission to passing free knowledge to everyone worldwide. And we'll see you next week for another high yield unknown case.